Did you know that people who think they're eating healthy tend to eat nearly 400 more calories than people eating fast food? Dietitian Dawn Jackson Bladner is here to give us the shocking truth about so called healthy foods. Oh my goodness. Sometimes <laughs> That's what I said when I saw this. Yeah, oh my goodness. It's really shocking that sometimes what seems to be healthy, that you think, oh, I'm going to be healthy, I'm really going to lose weight. Uh, is really shockingly high in calories. One thing I thought was shocking was this right here. The Big Mac or this healthy salad or what you think right. would be something from Corner yeah. Baker, uh, Bakery right. Harvest Salad with roast chicken. And at the bottom Goodness line gracious. of this whole thing is that calories count when it comes to losing weight. So somebody would go in and get this Harvest Salad with roasted chicken and think they're doing a great thing. It has nearly a thousand calories. So this salad is definitely a waistline buster. Uh, whereas if you would go to a fast food place and get maybe like a Big Mac, this only has 540 calories. Which is very deceiving so, because yeah. everyone thinks fast food is so bad for you. Right. So I think the real message here is, you know, don't rely on things that you just think are healthy. You know, really look and investigate online and see how many calories do these things have. So this has almost double the calories as this. We were yes. talking about fat content. Fat. When it comes to fat, they're very similar yeah. too. Actually, you know, with the cheese and the fried croutons and salad dressing, they're very similar in fat content you know, as well. When I go to the gym, another thing too, a lot of people tend to use honey. Every time I go to the gym, they always have honey yeah. as opposed to sugar. Ooh, look at gooey. It looks like healthy, gooey. It tastes so good too. You know, a <laughs> tablespoon, so this is a tablespoon, has 64 calories. So a lot of times people think it might be even calorie free. It's just so healthy. But if you do a tablespoon of just sugar, it's less calories. It's only like 49 calories to do just sugar. So it's better to do sugar than well, honey. Well, I think the message here is really this concept of don't rely on thinking I could eat lots of healthy foods and be thin and healthy because healthy foods do have calories and sometimes even more than foods that you think are mm. like junk food. Well, yeah. Another thing too, raisins versus grapes. Oh, this is like a shocker for some yeah, people. Yeah, really you dry we get kids fruit, raisins. Yeah, when you dry fruit, it really concentrates the calories. So I have here a half of a cup of raisins. This is over 200 calories. So if you're sprinkling that on oatmeal or something like that, that's over 200 calories. You do the half a cup of grapes, listen to this, 31 calories. 31. So 200 to 31 calories. That's a big savings to go with fresh fruit over the dried fruit. Well, it's something that a lot of parents need to take note of, too, because that's what you'd rather give your kids sometimes. It's an easy thing to give them. Yes, raisins. and so keeping fresh fruit in, like, little baggies, yeah. eye level in the fridge is a great idea to eat more fresh fruit. Okay, this is something interesting, too, because okay. I love yogurt. So a lot of times people say, oh, Dietitian Dawn, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to eat yogurt and granola. And this yogurt and granola right here is 360 calories. Now, something you might not realize is that if you were to scramble two eggs with a piece of toast and a teaspoon of butter, that would be 100 calories less, only 260 calories for this. So again, the message is very clear. Calories count when it comes to weight loss, but you can't just think that healthy foods are going to be low in calories. Well, plus you think bread, yeah. too. You think you should be eating bread, you know, to cut down on carbs and stuff. And eggs are actually better for you anyway, well, I would think, well, right? The, the, protein. the major thing here is that calories count. So this is 100 calories less, and, you know, it is going to be a tasty breakfast. So you don't always have to pick the healthy thing that you think, because it might be shockingly high in calories. Okay, finally, everybody, yeah. one thing that a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon oh. is, is this all grain, yeah. whole grain, whole wheat. It's, if, it, if it says grain or says wheat, it seems to be better for you, yeah, right? Yeah, people are always just, they grab it if it says whole wheat or if it says wheat. And so if you go to something like a you know, donut shop and you see a whole wheat donut, 310 calories for a whole wheat donut and only 230 calories for something that's not whole wheat. So again, just remember calories count and the concept is if it seems healthy, it might still be high in calories. Yeah.